Welcome back to ESA Summer 21, here to raise money for Save the Children. Links to donate can be found just below the stream. We'd also like to thank Twitch and ViewSonic for sponsoring this event. Now, it's time for Shadex to run two worlds. Take it away. All right, thank you. So this is two worlds. I don't think it's been seen in a marathon for a few years. Uh, the first skip of the game happens before we even start playing the game. Because if I try to start a new game, it says I can't do it. So I have to activate my game. I don't really want to give them my information, though. So I'm just going to back out. And that's how you skip giving them your, your personal information. Uh, so the game's going to start once I skip the beginning cutscene. And uh, as soon as that happens, I'll have to do a very... Not a very difficult skip, but I can mess it up sometimes. We're going to play on easy because it'll make the enemy's health a little less. And uh, we're going to beat two worlds in hopefully two minutes-ish. So I will tell you when to start, and hopefully I get that trick at the start. I'll explain it after. So ready on the time. And three, two, one, go. Did I get it? I didn't get it. Uh, you can restart it if you want, or we'll just try again. It doesn't really matter if the time keeps going. Embarrassing. There, we got a second try. So basically, there's a little tutorial dungeon at the very start of the level. And uh, if you turn around really fast, you can open the door before it locks. Um... And it saves about 15 or 20 seconds off the course of the run. So Two Worlds is a really big, expansive game where you have to play for like 10, 20 hours in order to defeat it. Um, mu you know, much bigger than Oblivion, Skyrim, just so much bigger, so much better. Uh, but Two Worlds has one fatal flaw, uh, as you'll see coming up. So unlike Oblivion, Skyrim, uh, Two Worlds has enemies... Wow, I failed the fence skip. That doesn't happen in a while. Rusty. All right, I took out my bow and arrow. Now I'm going to shoot this guy. Um, and the fatal flaw of Two Worlds is that the final boss is in the starting town. Uh, normally when you beat a game, normally to beat a game, you just kill the final boss. So that's what we're going to do. Um, they forgot to code in that, you know, you have to go through the rest of the game in order to win. So all we have to do is kill the final boss, but unlike those other games, uh, enemies do not scale to your level. So Gandohar here is still very, very strong, and we can't kill him alone. Uh, but thankfully we can just trick him into attacking the people of the town, and they will kill him for us. Because we are a weak level one. Thankfully, these townspeople are really, really strong. So now we're just going to wait for him to die. It is technically possible for him to kill everyone here. I think it takes about six to ten minutes for him to do that. Um, so this is basically all just randomness, how fast he dies, and let's see what happens. Oh, he's running to kill more people. This is very poor luck. The world record for this is a minute and uh, 41 seconds. We are definitely already over. Oh, there you go. Get ready on the time as soon as the cutscene pops up. And... Time. And that's how you beat two worlds in two to three minutes. If anyone wants to run this game, you have to download an early patch of it because they patch this trick out eventually. Uh, if you buy the Steam version, though, you can do run uh, all main quests, which is even better. You can teleport with horses and other fun things. Thanks, CSA. It was a pleasure running for you. See you everyone later. Hello everyone, it is Shiforni again, and I am joined by the rest of my studio hosts, Kanalo, Sajiki, and Bingo Bongos. 
This is the end of the Hackathon Takeover, but thank you guys so much for having us. I just want to say a couple of quick thank yous. Thank you to everyone here in the studio who's put in so much work. Thank you so much to ESA staff for all the work you've put in to accommodate our crazy requests, like eating a sandwich live on stream, uh, and really anything, any other stupid thing you can think of. The JKA Relay, I know, was a huge headache for all of them. So thank you guys for putting that on. Uh, I'd also thank all of you in the chat um, for watching and donating. Uh, it means a lot. If you enjoyed the hackathon stuff, you know, please, uh, please let us know. Um, it's the best way for ESA to know that uh, it was fun for everyone to watch. And if there were things you didn't enjoy, definitely don't hesitate to say it. Uh, you won't hurt my feelings, I promise. But it's great to let us know, you know, what things worked and what things didn't. Um, and it's just been a huge blast. There's lots more ESA to come. So it may be sad, at least for me, that we're not going to be doing any more of it. Um, still, stick around for the rest of the week. There's going to be a lot of amazing runs. Uh, and I'll pass it over to uh, Jim if there's anything you want to say. Yeah, um, it's been amazing just being a part of this block, uh, seeing everyone happy in chat and stuff and really enjoying the show that we've put on all together. I just want to say thank you for watching. Uh, thank you for the ES to the ESA staff uh, for allowing such, uh, such such action to be taken on their channel. Um, and yeah, thank you. Thank you very much. I'll pass it on to Saji. Yeah. Yeah. Um only repeat whatever the other guy said i mean i can only say before i mean these online events are especially a lot of a lot of work for everybody i know that because every hackathon is the same but before this event we were really uh we're really nervous because it takes uh yeah it takes a lot of it takes a lot of organization and um we were nervous that maybe you wouldn't like what what we would do but uh i think it went over really well which is in large part due to esa and um I just cannot believe, seriously, after, I mean, the five years we've been doing Hackathon, I still cannot believe the amount of trust these people put into us to, to do these things that we're doing. And uh, just giving us a block of time at ESA Summer 2021, that's just fabulous. And uh, thank you also to the community of people who put this together, the Speed Fam. Maybe some of you will watch this, so huge heart to you guys. If you have anything to say, kind of, go ahead. The, uh, I don't know, I don't have too much i'm very tired it's 3 a.m and i've been doing the studio organizing this whole time and uh the st studio mostly was yeah well, please the big thanks to canelo <laughs> yeah i really hope you enjoyed the studio stuff there's a lot of hours that went into all the translations and animations and such uh, yeah i just hope you enjoyed it then yeah, uh, thank you, Kai. Yes. It's been <laughs> Kai has put in so much work. So if you enjoyed it, please send him love. He's done, worked harder than any of us, I think, this week. Yeah, um, and definitely. he's got work in the morning. <laughs> so yeah, in like uh, five hours, four hours. Pray for him. Pray for him. Okay. Yeah, we don't well, we don't want to hold this up any longer. There's a nice Breath of the Wild speedrun coming up. Uh, we have one little last video for you guys, and uh, hopefully we'll see you soon. Yeah. Goodbye. Funny thank out. you all.